So the Bronx will get the first possession. Now Stockton. Here is Ori. Pass to Batum. And here is Butler. Green with the block. Well, if you're going to make that offensive move, it's important to know where Danny Green is. One of the better shot blocking guards you're going to find. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First personal foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Second free throw, no good. A relatively rare trip to the free throw line for Green, averaging just one attempt per game over the course of his career. They set the screen. Batum with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And Green slams it in. And good defensive possession leads to Mitchell's who, Like all great scorers, Spida looking to get out in the open floor. Here's Butler. Back to Batum. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Batum knowing how to get to the rack. Boy, a fierce competitor. Jimmy Butler puts his heart and soul into the game. Well, not a lot of opponents or players in this league that are going to outwork Jimmy Butler, and he does. He impacts the game in, in so many ways, and he's all about winning. Well, if you don't take care of the ball. What a jam! Wow, fans loving that right there. What a jam! Nice. A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. And Stockton, here we go. Pass to Cousins. Robert Horry. First personal foul. First team foul. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. On the wing, but two. It's stolen by Green. Leonard with the ball. Butler covering. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Green. Now Will Gaustis. It's deflected. And stolen by Butler. Upside, Batum. Pass to Butler. Doesn't go that time. And Cleveland the other way now. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. And the wide open shot from Green. Gets the three pointer to fall. Green's got six. When you're trying to space the floor, Green's the guy you want out there. The defense is forced to respect him from range. Well, he'll run through a wall to win, but sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is working. So both teams making some changes here. And Greg, last season, Butler and Spolstra got into it on the sideline. We all saw it. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good way of phrasing it. Uh, that manic intensity perhaps necessary at times for a player who competes as hard as Jimmy. And it's the Bronx with the ball. Nicholas Batum unable to get his shot to go. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Coming out of the floor for the away team. Giannis, I've got no bring ball. 1.32 left during the opening quarter. Look, he's an MVP performer on the court, but Giannis and that leadership and attitude, he's a team first guy. You're smart. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Shots good by Mitchell. 
It's so tricky there with the floater. Mitchell aware of when he should try his luck shooting that shot. Here's Smart. Here's Ben Carroll. And finished off by Ben Carroll. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good pass to Antetokounmpo. Outside for Jefferson. And he's good on the three ball. Jefferson's got five points so far. Shows the quickness that time. Jefferson just gets it in in a hurry. To the middle. Williams. Can't connect from short range. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Over in the corner, Batum. No good from outside. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Bronx on top. Up two. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bronx. I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. I love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. Here's Stockton, and he gets it to go. Love's got the lead up to two now for the Bronx. Yeah, when you give up these second chance opportunities, I don't know what you expect. Kevin Love is going to find a way to get in there and make something good happen. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Stockton, good. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here is Ori. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Jordan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Kawhi Leonard. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Cleveland trails by three. The drive by Mitchell. Outside Leonard. And the three off target. Jordan with the ball. Now Green defending. Pass to Love. It's a pick by Love. Steps back. Here's McDaniel. They get the rebound. Here's Jordan. It's tipped. Now, Cleveland we'll moving it up. Leonard with the ball. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Yeah, kind of fun when you see his personality come out in this game like that. Stockton outside. Fires high post. Up again. Left side, Jordan. Inside. And another shot. It's blocked. Mitchell with it. Picked up by Stockton. Pass to Ori. Outside, Green. And stolen by Jordan. And even three on three break. And Jordan throws it down. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Down low. Here's Green. And it's Green with the jam. 
go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-open. So, timeout call here, the first for Cleveland. here in the second quarter. Here's Smart. And there's the try. And Marcus Smart GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but hate to play against. Yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. On his left side. Jefferson on top. Rebounded by Smart. And it's Smart with the ball for Cleveland. Trailing by two. Here's Matherin. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Here's McDaniel. And he jams it with authority. It's almost hard to believe that somebody can throw it down like that. It's a small club, right? I mean, it's a pretty <laughs> small. small club, that's Very for sure. Exclusive. He can really rise up. And the defense knows this. Somebody has to come over to contest. Now, smart. Nicholas Batum missing from long range. Jefferson. Outside, out of the combo. Pass to Jefferson. And Jefferson throws it down hard. Yeah, Jefferson, just great lift on these dunks. Whenever he's near the basket, he is ready to turn one over. Right side, smart. It's stolen by Jefferson. Here's out to the combo. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. A point who knows his role. Ja loves setting guys up, always looking to pass it. It's stolen by Jefferson. And so it's the Bronx with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be back with you shortly. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. The Bronx leading by six. Tries it from nine. Pass to Cousins. Another shot. Ori with the rebound. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Here is Ori. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. First personal foul. First team foul. Checking in for the away team. Nick for two. On defense, the Bronx. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Pass to Ilgowskis. That one good for two. Ilgowskis has got the first basket of the second half. That one for Cleveland. Off and running right out the bat here to start the second half. Well, there's a quickness to DeMarcus Cousins' game that you just don't realize. You got to see it in person. Excellent at diving towards the rim and scoring with ease. Now here's Green, defended by Jefferson. 
Green, no luck. The Bronx leading by six. Nice ball movement there by the Bronx. A shot by Batum, no good. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Mitchell. Count it, and the foul. That one on Jefferson. Oh, a fearless play by Mitchell. Sinks his shot while being fouled, and now he'll get to the line. 90 seconds now into the second half. Greg, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level on the playoff, doesn't he? And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. And I love whenever Ori rises up from there. His jump shot is so pure, the D has to respect it. Well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And Jefferson gets double teamed. The three. And that one is off. And Cleveland will come the other way. Pass to Ogowskis. Back to Green. And Green slams it in. Technically not a high flyer, but Green does have a certain power and explosiveness from time to time on full display there. Now here's Jefferson. He's got nine. Jefferson drawn the double team. And the officials calling for a three-second violation. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Ilgoskis, good. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Green with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. One fifty six left to play here in the third to stop the run they grab their own miss Pass to McDaniel the shots good on the assist by Butler feels like Jimmy Butler is getting better on how he finds the open teammates really elevating his playmaking skills now here's smart here's Matherin Sweet move. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Catherine's got the lead up to four now for Cleveland. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's Butler. Home team foul. Catherine, second personal foul. First team foul. 106 left here in the third quarter. Pass to McDaniel. The kick outside to Butler. Five to shoot. Now Noah. All sorts of time. And the shot goes in. Noah's got his second basket of the game. That's a good look for Noah taking a smart shot within the offense. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here's Stockton. Outside for Batum. Back to Butler. Pass to Noah. The Bronx needs to get off a shot here. Cleveland leading by four. Here's Matherin, stolen by Noah. One-on-one -on -one fast break on the money from 12 feet away. Noah's got four points this quarter. Yeah, we've talked about it for years, about how unorthodox the release is from Noah, but nice to see it when it goes in. Here's Ben Kill. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Cleveland leads by only two. 
And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So Stockton will bring it up for the Bronx. Over Mitchell. Love trying to break loose. No good off the back of the rim. Mitchell left side. Butler with the steal. And here we go. It's Butler to tie it up. Oh, we're trying to get open. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Pump fake can still be used. This just in. And Butler with a great up fake to keep the defense off balance. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and so here's Cleveland. They lead by one. Mitchell with it. Pass to Ori. Back to Green. For three. Bronx grabs the miss. And here is Butler. Sixty seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Now Noah. They double him with Green. Five on the clock. Love. No luck. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Here's Ori. They kick it out to Green. Nobody near Leonard. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Kawhi has really perfected that stroke, and he did not come into the league with that kind of skill or that kind of threat from the three-point line. And it's Butler missing. Cleveland leading by four. Here's Mitchell. They kick it out to Green. The rebound by Noah. Pass to Love. Over Green. And another miss by the Bronx. And so here's Cleveland. They've only given up one point in the fourth quarter. Here is Ori. He's guarded by Love. Leonard on the wing. Driving in. Near the three-point line. It's Mitchell. Nice shot from the wing. Now it's a six-point Cleveland lead. And you love how Kawhi has developed this part of his game. Just able to find teammates and rack up assists. No other screen. Batum attacking. That's tipped. And they're able to recover. Now, here's Mitchell. On the wing, Green. And Green slams it in. Oh, get out of his way. No way the D was going to slow him down. Timeout called, the Bronx. from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. 
He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. And so he hits both. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. But D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Bill Goskins. And a miss there on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Cleveland leading by six. They kick it out to Green. Back to Mitchell. Stolen by Mitchell. Here's Jefferson. And Jefferson throws it down hard. And good defensive possession leads to Mitchell's hoop. Like all great scorers, Spider looking to get out in the open floor. Back to Mitchell. One nineteen left here in the fourth quarter. Over to the wing. Looks up a three. And it's Ilgowskis missing. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. The Bronx trails by four. Outside Jefferson. Pass to McDaniel. Finds to the hoop. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. The try by Mitchell. He doesn't hit that one. The Bronx goes the other way with it. Here's Jefferson. Count it! Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Outside Leonard. They kick it out to Green. Mitchell in the corner. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Leonard. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Certainly a reliable free throw shooter, but these always feel different. Let's see if Kawhi can focus in. And so he drops them both. It's a two-point ball game. Their free throws put them in an excellent position to win this thing now. It's all in the hands of the D. Back to Stockton. To the inside. It falls! A huge shot to tie it up. And with the ball in his hands, Mitchell attracts attention, then breaks down the defense with the pass. Timeout called Cleveland. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Ogoskis. Money! Oh, the big fella. Throwing it down hard. Timeout goal. Bronx. They're behind by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And they actually could take a three here and go for the win if they want to. I think they'll try and send it to overtime. The defenders don't want to foul in this situation, so you should be able to get a good look inside. Here's Mitchell. It falls! 
jump. And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. And timeout called by Nick Nurse. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. To take the lead. And the Bronx tacks on two more. And so it's Cleveland with it. Pass to Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. Leonard once again imposing his will. And so Stockton will bring it up for the Bronx. The kick outside to Butler. It's three pointers off the mark. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Now you have to prevent him from getting to the paint, unless you want to see a highlight. And that one drops for him. Love's got it all tied up now for the Bronx. And Kevin Love, no stranger having the ball when it's tight like this. Terrific at stepping up. Timeout called Cleveland. And so here's Cleveland. Here's Green. Pass to Ori. They kick it out to Green. Shoots it up. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The defender there makes a poor choice. Underestimating Green's savvy results in a trip to the line. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that gives them the lead. They come away with the lead, but I'm sure he's kicking himself over that last miss. Here's Jefferson, and Jefferson throws it down hard. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. He's looking for Giannis and finds him. Back to Jefferson. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Now, so exciting to see the growth of the Greek freak. There are shots that stars sink, and that's a momentum changer right there. On the wing, Green. And another miss by Cleveland. The Bronx leading by three. Look at that. Yeah, you, you got to love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. And Noah with the slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Here's Noah. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Nice ball movement there by the Bronx. Xavier Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. Yeah. 
So no problem for the Bronx as they get the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch. Thanks to everyone. Please enter the building carefully.